every single Sunday from two to four. Uh, this was a good turnout, but in six months we hope to be double constantly every single week because it's all about caring, compassion, sharing information, and helping others. And that is our dedication. That's Mr. Oshiro's dedication as well, and we just want to pass that on to you. So I'm sure most of you are here for some reason. You want to come to find out why, if you're my friends and family, why I've been absolutely going bonkers over this, and maybe just to have me just shut up. So you came to an event, okay, I did it. it. You may have come out to say, why are thousands of people around the globe uh, rushing to Kangen water? I mean, everywhere, Russia, Australia, China, Japan, Canada, you just busted in Kenya. So uh, whatever your why is, I can assure you that you'll probably find your why out today. Um, I know that I did. And, um, first off, I want to give the mic over to uh, one of my really good friends and the guy that's going to be running the show here in Raleigh because I actually don't live here. Um, but I wanted to start this. This is where I uh, grew up for the past 13 years and really wanted to spread this in Raleigh. Um, so the first person I want to put over is Ellis Wilson. <laughs> so most of you probably don't know me. Um, some of you do. And the ones who do, thank you for not bailing on a crazy water guy. Um, <laughs> We, Ryan and I, Ryan came from LA, um, and what we realized about the LA market is that there is unity. There's a base where people can go to and collaborate with, on the minds and the thoughts and what works, what doesn't. We wanted to bring that to Raleigh. Um, and what's most important to us is growing the Enagic brand. You know, individual sales are great, yes, but what's more important is when you're battling bottle companies like Aquafina and Deer Park and all those different brands that have the inferior product, but <laughs> so they, they have the inferior product, but they have the successful branding. So in order for us to overcome that, we are going to have to brand better. We're gonna to have to grow the Enagic brand and we wanna do that together. And that's what this is about. It's about bringing distributors to a, a single place where we can all get together and do it together, you know? So. I'm a sponge, I, I'm very new to this, I'm gonna learn just as much from you guys as, you know, everyone else, but I'm, I'm just excited to do this and we should do it together. Yeah. Yeah. When's the last time you were in California, on the beach? Uh, it's been a couple years. I'm gonna destroy this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one question. Um, I have a chiropractic seven minute DVD. Uh, this is... <laughs> Well, I guess somebody wants it, right? <laughs> well, he's passing those out. Uh, the next person I want to bring up is, has a big part um, in this. Um, she's helped me out a lot. She's the glue to my craziness. So uh, if Jennifer Sparks could uh, come up to the stage, please. The brains and the beauty of the operation. <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure, not sure. I couldn't do this without these guys. Um, hello, everyone. Hiya. Yeah. Good. I'm visiting all the way from California. I live in Manhattan Beach. And as some of you may know, there's a lot of health fanatics out there in Los Angeles. They're crazy about this health thing. So I naturally have been drawn to health my entire life. My family's always taught me that water is a really big, big key component to good health. So uh, as I've gotten older, I've really tried to make that my um, goal, is good water, good health, good food, and all the above. Well, Ryan over here decided to introduce Kangen water to me. I heard about Kangen water about, let's see, <clears throat> I'd say eight years prior to Ryan bringing it up to me. I didn't know what it was, I figured it was some other bottle of water industry and didn't think much of it, but I heard it constantly throughout Los Angeles. Well, when Ryan brought it up to me, I figured, okay, it's just some other water. He says, no, I don't think you understand. Common water is different. He showed me the machine. Uh, he had me start drinking it. And I wasn't really, you know, thinking it was going to do much other than what every other water does to me. Well, this water was different. I've always been an athlete my entire life. I, uh, I'm sure some of you may know if you work out constantly, you have those sore muscles where it hurts to walk, it hurts to sit. Uh, I went days and days, probably even five days after a workout of soreness in my legs. He says, please, just take a day, constantly drink this water every single day. And by like day two, my workouts, I wasn't feeling any soreness, and I have not felt any soreness for the last two months, and I work out constantly. So that was one <laughs> really, really good thing for me in my life, thank you. 
So that was one thing. So then he tells me, I've, I've been a big, you know, um, person as far as skin care goes. I'm always making good lotions, good toners, and he says, well, you know this machine makes a beauty water. Well, well what's this beauty water? It's like a toner. Well, if you go into a Macy's or a Nordstrom's or a Hot Shops or whatever you guys have out here as far as a department store, those bottles are not cheap. Uh, I think I was paying about $40 plus per bottle. So he shows me this water, and I started using this water on my skin. It's tightening my skin. It's causing my skin to feel more glowy, uh, more vibrant. And so that was another huge component for me as well. So I think all in all, I, I feel great. I sleep better. I have more energy than ever before. And I'm just really kind of excited to share those few key components that I've learned uh, since I've been drinking the water. So thank you, Ryan, for showing me what Crongan water truly is. Uh, and then next person we have Dr. Dave who's been with the company for quite some time and uh, he has an awesome story and his why so go briefly over that. I had moved my parents out to California about 25 years ago and built them a house in Laguna Beach about 45 minutes an hour south of me. I'm in Manhattan Beach. So um, as uh, health deteriorated, you know, I, I would be in Costa Rica at my place and my mother would say, you know, David, we're getting older and, you know, we're getting slower and, you know, so I realized, you know, I, I didn't stop, you know, running around and really spend time with my parents because they gave me my education, my parents, uh, they're, they're, uh, I'm the only child, they've been together since they're 14 years old, uh, they really are, you know, a rare breed that we used to have with people that meet when they're in high school and stay together their whole lives and are dedicated to each other. And my mother always told me, I said, well, like, what's the secret thing? She said, you know, I always do what your dad wants and your dad always does what I want. You know, <laughs> you know so it really you know, it has something to it, you know. So, um, you know, it, it's just an amazing story. So. When I came back from Costa Rica, you know, the doctor met with me privately and he said, you know, your dad uh, has fourth heart attack, vagina, uh, over 80 pounds overweight, gout. My dad was on 15 medications. My mother was on about 12. Before I became a doctor, I was a biochemist and a human biologist. And I, and I know when you mix 15 drugs together, not get what it's intended to do. You know, you're just making some kind of poison soup and it was killing his kidneys, his liver was shutting down, and I got there and, uh, you know, it was in critical and, and uh, I, I just started, man, I, I ranted and raved at these doctors. I, I said, what the heck are you doing? You know, you're killing my dad, you know. Check his blood pressure. He had low blood pressure. He was still on his high blood pressure medication. You know, they give you medicine and they don't, they don't follow up. They don't, they just give it to you like it's candy and they expect you to eat the candy forever. You know, when do I stop? Ask your doctor when he gives, you know, all these commercials make me sick. When I was a kid, doctor be smoking cigarettes while I was examining. <laughs> cigarettes, they, 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 oh, nicotine is good for you, you know? And they give them to all the GIs. The guys know, man. World War II, you know, Vietnam, they gave them out for free. Because why? Well, maybe they weren't free, but, uh, you know, they got to be hooked on, on cigarettes. And then when I opened magazines like Life Magazine and Look Magazine, it would say, it would say, uh, uh, Camel, the doctor's choice of cigarette, you know? And I'd go, wow, when I get old, I want to smoke Camel, you know? So uh, it, it was really uh, wrong for them to do that. They knew, they knew the effect. They really did, you know? But look what they did to us. And, and you know, they get a little slap on their wrist, whatever. But uh, it's ridiculous. So now, We've noticed that the drug companies have taken over now the television waves. And at night, 
you know, you'll, you'll see if you, you know, five to seven commercials, one out of three commercials is for some drug that we never had when I was a kid, you know? And some new disease they came up with. You know, I think you have a boardroom and they just say, who could come up with the best new disease, you know? Let's, so the new disease that I loved the best was after you work a 12-hour day and, and, and take care of your family and sit in traffic for four hours and you come home, are you tired? No. <laughs> Maybe you're depressed. <laughs> Ask your doctor, right? So what happened was people would just baloney. But after watching this 20 times, you know, people would start to go to the doctor and go, you know, am I depressed? You know, maybe I'm depressed. What's going on? Doctor, oh, I have just the thing. Zoloft or, you know, something. But, you know, it's ridiculous. You know, kids were never on medications. Kids never got cancer when I was a kid. You know, this was some rare thing. And now, with all the money we've donated, you know, to, to the Cancer Society, what's going on? Where's that money going? Where's the cure? Why, why is everybody, every, you know, coming down with things, you know, that they never had before? So it's, it's, it's really ridiculous. It's got out of control, in fact, you know? You know, they make more than the oil companies, okay? You know, that is utterly ridiculous. You know, they control the airwaves. They control the men. I watch them. You know, I'm, even though uh, uh, I was a medical doctor, I didn't like that, became a chiropractor, like that, and it's, but I was in my medical center, I see every day hundreds of drug reps come up with samples for the doctor, boy. We got the drug sample of choice. What do you want? You want to get Vicodin? You want to get high? What do you like, you know? And look at all the poor kids now that are, that are killing themselves and are hooked on these drugs, you know? What do we do now? We've created a monster, you know? Well, guess what? We found the answer, you know? And maybe it's a grassroots movement, and maybe we're not on public television, and, but we are getting commercials. People are doing commercials. Eyewitness News did a commercial with one of my distributors, and, and you start to see, I see them channel two, and, Different areas call them different channels, it doesn't matter. But that's the thing, you know? Talk to your doctor, don't be afraid, man. When a doctor comes to you and says, you know, I think you should take this, you know, show them what we got, you know? Because if once we get them on board and they realize, you know, maybe there's a source of income for them from it and, and not the drugs that they're killing people with, you know, and have to hold this ridiculous amount of malpractice insurance, you know, maybe we could start changing even one here, one there. One here, one there. That's what we need to do. So we, we this is a grassroots movement, you know, it's word of mouth, and if the machine didn't work, you guys wouldn't be here. That's the crazy thing. If that machine did not work, you would not be here. Nobody would be here. Thank God for that machine. Because my parents, you know, my parents, when I brought it home, said, oh, you've got another thing, which you spent your money again. You know, just like when you bought us a boat and it sank, you know? Well, it sank in dry dock because they never, they never took care of it build pump stop and things like that. But so my dad decided I'm gonna lay here until I die and eat ice cream and all this junk. So we went to the health food store, we bought all kinds of healthy stuff. And what they do, they put a fridge in the garage with light with all the goodies, right? So they make like they're making shakes and eating well and eating fruit, but they were sneaking into the garage every five minutes. <laughs> what the heck is in the garage? You know, what do you got in there, you know? 
And I just went in there and saw I ate ice cream. And all that stuff. <laughs> Again, I just, you just can't buy that stuff. Because if it's in your house, three in the morning, you wake up and want to eat it. So then uh, my mother, who was a rockette, you know, the knees were so arthritic, she was on a walker. And basically, uh, she drank it. She got off the walker. And one day, I didn't know she was off the walker. She's behind me, she taps me, and she has a pitcher in her hand. And she says, you know what, let's give this to Dad. And I go, really? Really? She goes, yeah, look, I can move my legs. And she goes, I haven't, I've, I've, I've had insomnia for 25 years. It's gone. I said, no, he's full of water. He's just trying to get rid of it, whatever. But no. So we went in, and she goes, Norman, if you don't drink this water, we're going to pour it on your effing head, you know? <laughs> you know, we're going to pour it all, and you're going to lay in it. So my dad, little by little, it took three months, but uh, you know, he took 28 cruises around the world. They had lost their, you know, she was complaining, my mother always, oh, we lost our, we worked hard, we paid our taxes, we never broke a law. We, you know, they, they, they travel like at 40 miles an hour on the freeway, you know? So they don't break any laws. So uh, it was just insane that when I saw what happened to my dad, I said, look, here's a guy that wants to die, that is sick of the pain, that just wants to die. And if this water could change a guy that's mentally set on dying, you know, there's something about this, you know? And that's when Bob and I just went ballistic, you know? We just said, this, everybody has to know. So we don't be afraid, man. Speak to everybody. Talk to everybody. Everybody needs this water, from children to the elderly, you know? And I don't want to take any more time, because I probably owe it a limit now. And Ryan's ready to shoot me. Okay, so back to Ryan. And I started drinking the water, and wow, did it ever change my life. And so, boy, I thought everybody needs this here. So I drank it for two weeks before I told anybody. And I had arthritis, I had gout, I had high blood pressure, I had cholesterol problems. My cholesterol was just through the roof. Six weeks, it was all normal. You know, I mean, it had been like that for years. And I had taken Lipitor and I couldn't remember anything. I took it for about a year and I quit. And then I got on the water and I could even, I even found my plant my way here today. <laughs> and, but, uh, but anyhow, this is amazing, this water is, but, but I don't have, uh, I mean, it took me about 90 days to get off of blood pressure pills and stuff I've taken for over 30 years, and, you know, and, uh, and it, 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 it actually does reverse the aging. And this is the best single thing that you can do for your health is this water. But uh, anyhow, uh, I wear boots now, I used to have to wear wide tennis shoes, I can wear anything I want to, you know what I mean, and I lost 30 pounds, you know, that really helped a lot too. So anyhow, if you have any problems or anything, we have, we have something. If this doesn't help, that means that you're not drinking enough water or you're drinking soda pop or energy drink, bottom line. That's all, I mean, because it helps, it works on every person, every time. I always keep that in mind too. And just get to people on the water. Just say, hey, how would you like to drink the best water on the planet for two weeks? And if they say no, get away from them. Because <laughs> there's something wrong upstairs, really. I mean, because they, they don't have it together if they don't drink the water. For, I mean, the best water on the planet for two weeks, because everybody drinks. But I had one the other day that really surprised me. I asked the guy, I said, you drink water, don't you? And he said, no, I don't. Really? He said, no. And I said, what are you drinking? He said, Pepsi. I uh, said, so, wow. I said, you know every living thing on the planet is at least 70 to 75% water. And he said, yeah, probably, I don't know. And I said, well, how would you like to water your plants a week or two just with Pepsi? See how they do. And he thought a little bit and he said, hmm, you might have something there. He said. <laughs> so anyhow, it's something to think about, but really talk to people about the water. The water is the main thing. And you can't help people 
with the water unless you have one on their counter. You have gotta get the machine on their counter. It's not good coming out in plastic jugs. You know, we try to use the best jugs that we could get a lot of times, but it's really hard sometimes. So just get the best, even if you have to get a small machine and loan it, you know, we've even found that uh, where the small ones work and just tell them that one's not for sale, it's a, it's a demo model. And it is, that's what we use it. And that, that particular machine is not for sale and they will buy it, what do they need it? But what I do is I use the Peggy Parker protocol book and the, uh, the uh, ionized water in the kitchen and the, uh, the uh, chemical free sanctuary. I build so much value in the water that they want, they want, if they'll give me 30 minutes of time, I'm going to build so much value that every person wants that machine on their counter before I leave. Uh, now for my why, and uh, you know, I've only been with Enagic and uh, drinking the water for three months, um, but I've had my machine for two. So uh, I have felt so passionate about it that I needed to, to share. But a little bit of how it started, you know, I, I met Dr. Dave in, uh, in California. When I first met him, Sorry, but I, I thought he was crazy. I'm like, this guy is absolutely outside his mind. He's talking about this technology that's going to help me with this and that. And I love it. I don't know why I was drawn to this this guy, but I kept going back. First time I went to his house, I was there, no joke, me and him, one-on-one -on -one for at least five hours. Uh, talking and talking and showing me, doing tests, going this, showing me videos. And um, if anybody knows me, I'm a very inquisitive uh, type of person, I'm always like, why, 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 why? You know, I'm that kid that was always did that. So once he told me about it, I, my first thing that comes to my head is, I'm gonna prove this thing wrong. I'm gonna prove this doctor wrong. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna drink this water, and I'm gonna study it, I'm gonna read the books, I'm gonna go online, and I will find something wrong with it. Obviously, that did not work at all. Um, I felt better. My friends started feeling better. I, my workouts became intense. My sleeping even better. My energy through the roof, and I have more energy than any five people could really manage in the room. So, going through all of that, my big why is now everybody needs to feel like this. I can only imagine I was very healthy before. I was drinking water. I was going to the gym five. I still go five, six times a week. So I was healthy and. It made a huge difference in my life, so I'm just thinking, what can this do to people that have gone into states of arthritis or whatever? Whatever may, I get chills just talking about it because it's it's just the way of today. Everybody's got a sickness of some sort, so I want to get this to everyone so they can feel it. I will give people water as long as they need it uh, because people just need to feel this, and not only that. You guys need to know this information. We deserve to know this information that I'm about to show you because the government's not showing us, the healthcare system is not showing us, and to me personally, that's not fair because uh, we're being blindsided, if you ask me. And the first time that I saw this demo because I was a health freak, I was very upset to know that that was happening. So there's kind of my why. I'm very passionate about it, uh, and I'm just looking to get it to as many people as possible just get people feeling, feeling like I do. So we can get this thing kicked off, and uh, I will say I want to hold all questions till the end just so we can make this uh, go along. I will answer everything for you. We'll answer right here on the table um, so everybody can hear it. So just keep your questions at the end, write it down in a pad of paper or something like that. Um, so first off, I want to ask the people in the room right now, who has been drinking the water a lot religiously? Raise your hand. Okay. Now. Who has felt an amazing transformation in, in their health of some sort? If you're you new people, you look around, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty big. Um, this whole concept of the water and Kongan water, this is not new at all. You guys may have, have known, um, there are many places across, uh, across the world that are considered blue zones or have healing waters, curing waters. I'm sure if you've ever traveled to any of these places, Lourdes, France, Delhi, India, Lakote, Mexico, you may have gotten a little bottle of water to take with you. There's these um, things that people say they're curing water. Um, and these are four of the seven areas in the world. And these miracle he healing waters that they speak of, they all have one thing in common. Um, they have three properties in common, but they all contain active hydrogen or alkaline in the water. That's why people will travel all over the place um, to get these waters. So. Um, now, some have been added to that. I, I live in there's a book called Blue Zones. I'm in Costa Rica, where 
people average about 105 years of life, which blows me away, you know? So there are more and more. Absolutely. So this is actually a picture of our headquarters in Torrance, California. It's really great because they have eight machines that are constantly running. Uh, people are available. As long as you have that uh, gallon jug I have on the end there, you can go in there and fill up water as many times as, as you want. Uh, go in there and just get free water. Remember the first time that I went there, Dave was like, why don't you just sit at the door and ask five or six people where they came from? Okay, well, well I don't mind talking, as you guys can tell. So every person that walked in the door, I said, where are you from? And I, I think the furthest away was about an hour and a half. Uh, people are driving an hour and a half to get one and two gallons of water. I mean, those are just like the Lord's France of Delhi, India. So it's just, that was really cool for me, me to see, um, and just really put things in perspective for me as well. So a little bit about the company, because um, this is, to me, is very important. I'm a business major, uh, marketing concentration. I learned a lot about markets, business, the businesses you want to be a part of, the businesses you don't. Um, so this stuff is very vital information. Um, this company is 40 years old, privately held company based out of Okinawa, Japan. Um, this technology has been around for a long time, 40 years, um, and uh, Mr. Oshiro replicated those three properties that were found in those waters you saw a second ago, um, and it's, it's their OEM. So if you guys know what an OEM business is, original equipment manufacturer, they do everything in-house, everything. From the parts and labor, to the distribution, to the sales center, support center, everything they're done in their company. There's not one piece or anything that is distributed or they buy from another company. To me, that says, it's kind of like in terms of poker, all in. They're all in. They have no exit strategy. They have put billions and billions of dollars into this. And that means a lot to me, knowing a business is going all in like that and not worrying to be cheaper. Um, from there, we have offices all over the world. We have offices in LA, New York, Chicago. We just opened up in Russia. We're in Australia. We're in countries all across the world. And it just seems that we're one of the last to kind of jump on board for some of the reasons that, that Dr. Dave was uh, yeah. speaking about. And they before. expect Brazil to bring in about half our income just from the country of Brazil. And there's 46 million people you know, in Sao Paulo, just alone. Did you set up the MMA fighters there too? Yeah, I set them up here and then we went there and I had a lot of trips planned there uh, to take care of these guys. They're really good guys as long as uh, you don't flood their floor, which I did. <laughs> Those don't beat me up. That's what I did. But now, you know, I've humored them enough that they're not going to beat me up. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, another very important thing about the company is they have uh, a certificate and uh, qualification called the WQA, the Water Quality Association Gold Seal Award. This is the only water ionizing machine in the entire globe that has this award. This saying that we have the best quality of water consistently out of every single machine that is produced by this company. Again, that is huge. This seal in itself is allows us even though we're going through a grassroots, you can actually put it in hospitals. You can put it in restaurants. You can put it in commercial-based companies where no other water ionizer in the entire planet can do. Another huge kind of like mind-blowing thing that, that, that we have this available and available to us as, as consumers. So here's a lot of the awards um, for this company. I mean, we would be here all day if I was going over every certification. Um, there's two that are very, very important, I think, especially for today's day and age. One, this machine is classified as a medical device and sold as such. So it is tax right off too, which is fantastic. You can take accounting and stuff and make your way with that and kind of uh, take it off your taxes. The next one is the environmental emissions. This company is considered a green technology. So you can rest assured that everything that this company does is good for the environment, which is great. It's just good to know that you're not going to be using plastic bottles and all of these other things and that this company is hand making every one of these machines and it's a green technology. So again, the Water Quality Association Gold Seal Certificate, um, this is huge for the, for the company. Moving forward, so looking at, here's kind of an array of our machines. Um, do you guys remember the first time that you saw these? I remember I did, it was a little weird to me. I'm like, they just look like a glorified Brita filter, you know, just something kind of, maybe a coffee maker or a cappuccino maker or something. I, I just didn't understand. I was like, this doesn't even look that great. But the fact is, you know, when I first saw it, it was in Dr. Dave's um, kitchen. There was food next to it, and it's next to a garbage disposal. 
You know, it's not like he was like, this is a medical device. It's not like I walked into a hospital room, an ER room, and saw a medical device and said, oh, okay, maybe I understand. And so you they did build a coffee maker into mine. Oh, did it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. So, it, and it is a medical device. And it, have you guys heard the price of the, the flagship machine? $4,000? It blew my mind the first time. I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way that I'm going to spend that money on a machine. And I'm sure most of you at some point in time thought the same exact, you're like, nope, sorry, thank you, I've got other things to buy. Of course, so do I. I'm 25 years old and I'm going to drop four grand. But the fact of the matter is no one told me that it would right off the bat, it's a medical device. I didn't see it in a hospital. No one told me, hey, you press this button, it's going to help psoriasis, eczema, acne. It's going to help all these array of skin conditions. Uh, no one told me that you can press this button and then it's going to clean my vegetables of all pesticides, herbicides. They didn't tell me that I could press another button for the best drinking world on the planet. They didn't tell me, never told me I can hit another button and then I can kill all bacteria and disease, 99.99% of bacteria, including E. coli, staph, MRSA, hepatitis within 30 to 60 seconds of contact. That makes a little bit more sense of why this machine is the price that it is and why it also lasts, lasts for an entire lifetime because it is a quality machine. So, um, moving right, right along, this is our flagship machine. This is the SD501. It's our flagship for so many reasons. Those certifications that I told you, those ISO certifications, find another company with them. I'm waiting. That Water Quality Association. Same thing. These have the certifications that no other company has, and that's why when you guys actually do your research, you're going to see that there's a lot of companies out there. A lot of these other companies that have water ionizing machines, they're run and owned by about one company that they manufacture and distribute all their things from around the world. And you'll notice one thing too when you do your research. Every single person compares himself to that. Why? I think you guys can kind of make up your own uh, reason why other people would want to be comparing themselves to this. Um, and one of the, the, the things that makes more sense to me, you know, it may not be promoted by our doctors yet, but if you look in Japan, they're endorsed by the Japanese Association of Preventative Medi Medicine for Adult Diseases. This is a group comprised of 6,500 to 7,000 of the best and most knowledgeable Asian doctors over in Asia. And this is the only water ionizing machine in the entire planet that these group of doctors endorse fully, put in their hospitals, endorse to everyone that they know. That I mean, is another huge uh, thing for me in, in looking in for the machine. So some great things uh, about the actual machine too is you're gonna have so many uses. As I said, uh, me and my girlfriend, we have no chemicals in our household. Windex, gone. 409, gone. Laundry detergent, gone. The only thing we have is hand soap and laundry, uh, or. Uh, uh, fabric softener because I do like my stuff smelling kind of nice and kind of tough. But other than that, we've gotten rid of everything. And I and I, I test you guys, take it, put it next to your 409, put it next to your bleach. If you know somebody with a machine, get that water, it's free to them. They can give it to you. Go test them side by side. You will be absolutely shocked that water is going to beat out every chemical that you're paying hundreds, tens, fifteen, whatever, however much you're paying on. Now, has anybody actually tested them side by side? and seen that the Kong and Water machine works better than almost every chemical out there with a show of hands. Yeah. If you have a machine and you don't know that yet, you got to get on board. It's awesome. Cooking, cleaning, everything. It is just, it will change your life and you're not going to need any chemicals in your, in your house anymore, which is amazing. Because um, they also say that in our households, we you know about leaching of chemicals through plastic, when you have all of these chemicals underneath your sink or wherever they may be, your house is one of the most toxic areas that you can possibly go to. These things are leaching right out of the bottles and seeping right in your air. So as you're doing everything on a daily basis, you have bleach, you have chlorines, you have all of these other things that are just seeping in the air. Just because you can't see it does not mean that it is not there. So for me, that's just exciting for me that I can kind of get rid of that and save an unreal amount of money I'm spending for, for other things. Uh, and, and know that I'm still being good for the environment and being great. That's very important to me. Another thing, the water is going to help prevent lifestyle related diseases. I mean, that's kind of uh, in itself that it's amazing that, that it can do that for you. 
So moving along, as we talked about it being a green company, um, I hope this is important to you guys because this is our, our world. It's very, very important to me that we keep it clean and we keep the, you know, it going and being a green environment. So I'm going to touch base very quickly on the bottled water industry and kind of the things that's going on with the bottled water, bottled water industry. Um, I don't think I really have to tell you. There's only about not, it was eight or nine percent that is actually recycled. Yeah. Uh, it's less than 10% of plastic bottles that are actually recycled. Everything else in our ocean. Um, again, I don't know if you guys know this, but the Western rubbers, Rubbish Patch is what they call it. It's about the size of three Texas. That's huge of just nothing but plastic and trash. It's hurting animals, hurting the environment. I don't think I need to go too much in it. There's Texas, there's Hawaii, Barbados, worldwide. I don't want to like, go down the negative. I've seen the drone on so. Hawaii too. Look at that. Yeah, and this is all real stuff. You know, this is stuff that we're dealing with on a daily basis. I'm not going to go too much into it because we all know that, but it's still very important to know that if you do get involved with this machine for your health and other reasons, then it is a green, green technology. Um, another thing that is uh, that is an issue is all bottled water, as we're going to show you. They're not necessarily following any rules because there's not any. FDA does not make them provide their source of water. FDA does not also require them to put anything on their bottles whatsoever. Um, so that's why they can ultimately, when you see, it can be the way it is. Um, a company, bottled water company, so Aquafina or let's see, their Smart Water, Glacier Smart Water, right? Um, anything that has glacier or it's spring or whatever, um, the company only has to have 10% of actually distributed from that source of water. Everything else can come from our regular municipal water sources. Just kind of, a, you know, it's another one of those loopholes. Um, so they, and then they don't provide any type of water quality report. So um, this machine does make uh, multiple different waters as I keep stating. Um, it's also going to create the medical grade Kongen water, um, and it's going to last for 20 to 25 years. And how do we know? Because these machines are actually still out there. These aren't machines that were just like, oh, 20 to 25 years. These are tested, proven. These machines are out there with the consumer still producing as good as water as a brand new machine. I mean, how many years do you, I mean, Dr. Dave gives? to say, the use of my machine, you know, at, at, at thousands of gallons a week, which is a lot more than a person would use, when you start to multiply that, it I came to over 60 years of use. You know, just with, with changing filters a little more than usual and getting uh, the deep cleaning for 35 bucks. So it just blew me away that, you know, I thought it would be burned out by now. And the things I do carry it to Costa Rica and all the places I go, it's beat up. I mean, <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, these machines again last that long because they're actually out there. So, and I caution everyone, if you're looking at another water ionizing company, uh, that's absolutely fine. It's your prerogative, but I will say of these ones that are offering a lifetime warranty, that should kind of pull up a red flag. You look at their company, wow, you've only been out for two years and you're giving me a lifetime warranty. You just made this product. How do you know it's gonna last for a lifetime? When our, I'm just, Stating facts here, you know, and our company's been around for 40 years, and those are the machines, thousands of machines that are still up and running. So to me, that that gives even more credibility for for the company. Yeah, company plus itself. these other companies, when you ask to try the water, where do you go to try the water? Where's their office? When I, Bob and I put over 10 competition machines, we ended up at places like public storage, right? And then when things broke, no one was there anymore. I mean, what kind of company is that? It was, I would be ridiculous, yeah. you know? Do, do you want to pull out some of the, uh, we have actually one of the top competitors inside the machine with us right here. Uh, the day we'll, we'll pass out, maybe say so, a little bit something about you know, it. You can see our seven plates that are me, you know, medical grade titanium, basically, and we, we uh, electrostatically dip them in, uh, in uh, platinum. So their covered platinum is the best conductor of electricity it's used on the space shuttle. Titanium is used in racing engines. It's the strongest, lightest weight material metal there is. And that's why I'm in our plates. Now people from this and a million others, this is, we took the biggest one we could find because uh, I have 10 of these. And uh, basically people are getting like toxic shock and all kinds of different diseases because when you see how the plates are rotting out 
it, it was disgusting. I said, no wonder why no one's getting better. And, and when I test, when, someone, when I'm at a demo, and someone says, yeah, I have a, a tie-in, or I have a this, well, the funny thing was, Bob and I went to someone, they had a tie-in, he said, okay, we'll follow you home. We went to this person's house, this girl, and she's so proud of her tie-in, it looks so pretty. Yes, and we tested it, you know, we get, you know, probably, you know, small positive ORP, and we get, uh, you know, no, no negative, I can't make acid water, I can't. Alkaline, strong alkaline, strong acid. So I write you know, this little article, you know. It's a train. Train of So, so to make a long story short, I write, you know, a tie-in from Korea built like a Kia. <laughs> and the next day, the owner of the company calls me up, and I'm saying like. Boy, Mr. Ashiro would never call up anybody and, you know, this is the funniest thing. I got a guy yelling at me, saying he's doing, I said, but all we did was do a, a test, you know, no big deal. You know, your machine's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, when you, and when you research, if you ever read any of Jerry Costa, you know Jerry Costa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and how many people here are contributors? Great. So when, when Jerry, you know, really gets into, you know, finding out their background, well, most of them, you know, have been in jail at one time or another. Um, most of them, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's insane, have five or ten different companies that are trying to run at the same time, uh, do different things. You know, we are totally the opposite. You know, we have one, you know, type of you know, the thing we do is create water, you know, technology. It's nuts. So it, well, it's well, pass those around. Yeah, so when you actually, when you actually feel around, these, feel if, these if, if they don't, if this, well, this is mine, this is Bob. If Bob, I don't care if mine comes back. If Bob doesn't come back, he's going to throw me in the ocean, I think. He said, <laughs> try it. But when you feel these, just, I mean, you can literally feel the difference in the two. Uh, the two machines, first first touch. I mean, it's just, you're dealing with a toy versus a a steel solid object. So you guys will see that as it comes around. It, I mean, it's got the platinum coated uh, titanium plates as well as it's approved as a medical device. Just hit your neighbor in the head with a thumb up. <laughs> exactly. So now we're going to get into the uh, the three properties of the water. Uh, that this machine is replicated from those healing current waters, those blue zones around the world. And the three properties are antioxidation, microclustering, and alkalinity. And all three are extremely important uh, with our water. And as we'll show you going forward of the science and sci uh, the physicians and doctors of uh, why this is extremely important. So as we look at the first one, antioxidation. Um, I think everybody is familiar with this. Um, you know, we're told to eat kale, spinach, blueberries, green tea, cod liver oil for some people that maybe have taken teaspoons of that, it's not happening for me. But those are all good antioxidation for us. And if you look at an antioxidant, it's an anti-inflammatory and anti-aging. So ladies in the room, which, uh, I know this appealed for my girlfriend when I told her about this, you get to actually slow down the process of aging. Is that of any importance to anyone? Because I'm 25, but I would love to look like this, you know, for a while. But so when you look at oxidation, and then the opposite of an antioxidant, which is going to be anti-aging, an, oxi an oxidant is going to be aging or sickness. This is uh, hurting us on a cellular level, and that's about uh, a majority of the foods and things that we put into our body. So if you've noticed, I mean, one of the first things that you'll see is if you cut open an apple or an avocado, what happens in five minutes? It gets, it gets brown. Uh, that first shows that there's uh, an acid environment in our air, and it's actually depleting the antioxidation inside of the fruit and turning it oxidant, and hurting even the apple on a cellular level. So, I mean, I know that's an apple, but that's the same type of thing that we're doing to the inside of our body if we're constantly putting oxidants instead of antioxidants into our body. So, um, and just for example, yesterday I hear that uh, jet fuel has a, they didn't realize this all these years, 
but has this, uh, a substance that emits that's similar to uh, the asbestos that causes like meso mesothelioma and the jets are flying all over the place. How do you stop jet fuel? How do you stop the air? I mean, it's really getting crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So I want everybody to take a look at this picture right here. This was crazy to me. Um, on the left is Mr. Oshiro, and on the right is his best friend that he grew up with. So Mr. Oshiro started this company in 1974, has been drinking the water ever since. It is an antioxidant, anti-aging. But if you look at both of them, I mean, who looks healthier? Guy on the left, right? Now, his friend thought it was a hoax, didn't want to get involved, didn't even get involved for over 20 years. And now he's drinking, and now he's involved, and he's the Enagic USA business advisor. But the fact is, they had over a 20 year period where Mr. Oshiro was drinking it, and he did not. Believe it or not, Mr. Oshiro is about six months older than his best friend to his right. I think his best friend is dead, I haven't seen him in a long time. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, if you look at everything, look at the hair color, look at the face. Look at you know every, everything from the structure of their body, the posture. Uh, and, you know there could have been many other lifestyle things that these gentlemen were doing differently. But if you ask me, I think that's one of the biggest differences. I mean, he's six months older and he looks forty years younger. I mean, I, I don't know. You guys can kind of look at that and see see it for yourself. But um, so this is a chart. This is called an ORP chart. Um, for layman's term, pretty much it, it stands for oxidation reduction potential. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the science. If you really want to know about it, I can tell you all about it, read book after book. But pretty much if this, and we have a meter, and we're going to show you, but if it shows up as a positive on this ORP meter, uh, we can't decide whether what it does. If it's a positive, it's an oxidant. If it's a negative, it's an antioxidant. You can't change it. It is what it is. Um, so if you look here, soda, I think we all know soda is absolutely the worst. Um, and we'll see it later, but for one cup, just like that guy right there, that Sprite, one soda takes 32 glasses of calming water to neutralize it, which you'll see in a minute. That's a lot. Um, so, imagine when a kid drinks a big gulp. Yeah, big gulps and some of these play. Uh, you know, a story about the, um, what was it, the, what baseball team they eat and drink how much soda and candy? Oh, I went to, when I went to the Angel Stadium, and the base underneath, you know, he brings little electric cards. There is, I think, like the world's largest, it's like Giardilly Square, giant candy store. And I'm talking to one of the managers. And I go, what, 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 who eats this? And he goes, oh, the flavor. I go, what, what do they eat? Like, you have every choice of candy flavor. It's like, you know, a kid's drink, right? So he goes, well, the average player drinks seven Cokes and has five candy bars during each game. So, as we know, soda is the worst, then comes tap water at plus 300, then bottled water. And we're going to show you examples right here. And if you know anybody with an ORP meter, test it all. My friends are like, well, I drink well water. It's better. It may be better, but it's still oxidized. I mean, you can test any water, any liquid at all and tell whether it's an antioxidant or oxidant. So, as we talked about and saw, vitamin C is a good antioxidant. It's roughly negative 50. Then you have green tea, which is right around negative 75 and negative 100. And then, as we said earlier, cod liver oil, which, does anybody even take teaspoons of cod liver oil? Is that even a thing? Yeah? Well, one little. They had to tie us up for it, supposedly. So, but then, uh, right now that we have access to, cod liver oil is the highest antioxidant we have access to. So, what we have found through science, through factual meters, that common water is the most powerful antioxidant on the entire planet. It's awesome, but it's rough. About one glass is roughly, I believe it's like four or five pounds of rock from one glass straight out of the machine. And so that's, that's pretty powerful. So the next is gonna be the micro clustering. So let's just talk first about regular water and bottled water. So, the Japanese call it bulk water, and there's one reason behind it. When you add, uh, you know, water has an H2O molecular structure. When you add any other substance to it, chlorine, lye, lead, 
carbonic acid gas. We can keep going on and on to what's in our water or our tap water. You're changing the molecular structure of the water. It's just it's adding more molecules and adding more chemicals on it, expanding the molecule in general. So when you drink this bulk water, when you drink it, your body can't absorb it because it doesn't know what it is. It's not something that our body is used to. Our blood and everything is alkaline and is water, but it doesn't know what these other chemicals are. So you know that feeling, and if any of you work out or go on a run, if you drink too much water, you like jump up and you hear like an ocean in your stomach? Uh, well, that's because the water doesn't absorb. And our body only absorbs about 18 to 20 percent of the bulk water, all depending on where you are and how many extra additives are in it. Um, so that's very important, you know, and it's, if you drink, all of you, if you're new to this, drink two or three or four glasses, sounds crazy, but you'll be absolutely shocked that uh, you will not feel it in your stomach and absorbs before it even goes down. So what we do in our, in our machine, it takes out all of the extra additives and goes to what's kongen water, and kongen in Japanese means return to origin. So we are taking all of the extra bulk molecules out of the water and put it into a hexagonal snowflake sort of water molecule. That's why when you drink it, it absorbs immediately and you absorb 90% plus into your body and another reason why you don't feel it into your stomach. Um, this is very important and we'll show you this because with the antioxidant properties and the alkaline properties, those are being absorbed into your body on a cellular level, which is awesome because it's helping your cells and rejuvenating your cells and flushing out the acid and waste. This water hits your brain in about 30 to 60 seconds and hits your bloodstream and your entire body in less than 10 minutes. Uh, if you guys are interested, I have a YouTube channel that shows the actual structured effects of ionized water on the blood and it changes within 12 minutes. Absolutely absurd. And why Alzheimer's and, and different uh, you know, childhood diseases are on the, on the rise are because we have a blood brain barrier. The, the brain is smart. The brain basically knows not to let chemicals that are going to damage it in. So basically, by us taking the chemicals out, making a smaller cluster, our water could pass the blood-brain barrier, therefore hydrating the brain, therefore making connections that weren't connecting before, therefore the thought process becomes a lot clearer, a lot better, especially, you know, with, with, with children with different diseases, you know, we see them now hugging their mothers and, and their mothers come to be crying and, you know, what is just getting more, but they, they really, it really makes a difference. And again, I just want to say that you know we're not making any claims or or promising this water will you know doing cure any disease or uh, doing miraculous things, but the body is miraculous. Your body is the miracle. When your body has the right substances, like they do in certain areas of the world. Your body is a well-lubricated oil machine. We here, it's almost like we haven't changed our oil in 200,000 miles. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our body is 75% water. Your brain is three-fourths water. Your blood and your veins and your cells, those are 90% water. Your muscles, 75, kidney, 82. That is huge. If your body is made up of that much water, you need to be putting the right fuel into your body. Um, the best way that I, I can explain it, and I always like a little layman's term for everything, is that you know if you have a Formula One race car or top of the line hundred thousand dollar Ferrari, you are not going to go to the gas station and be like, yeah, I need that eighty seven. I'm running real low on cash right now. No, you can't do it. The car will completely explode. Something will happen wrong to the engine, and the same thing goes with our body. Um, you can also take it as a, uh, a fish bowl or a fish tank. If you're not constantly cleaning the water for your fish, your fish are going to die. And so you're going to put, I'm going to put it in the sense of your veins and your blood is the same thing as a fish tank. If you're not constantly changing the water, putting good nutritional water into it, your cells are going to die over time. That's kind of how it's going to so these are just a few things. Water does everything. Regulates your body temperature, helps absorb nutrients. 
um, help, it's three fourths of your brain. Um, it moistens for, for breath to expel uh, acid and other toxic things. So water is just a huge part of life, and as you know, uh, the world is 75% water as well. So it's very crucial. And so now for the last one, uh, pH balance. Um, so this is totally accurate. accurate. You can look it up, you can go on Google and look at for pH levels. Um, what has been discovered, acid equals sickness, poor diets, bottled tap water, acidic foods, also comes from stress, emotional stress, it's just a fact. Acid causes cancer. All cancer and disease thrive off of three things, uh, free, or four things, free radicals, dehydration, acidity, and oxidation. Those are all things that we are tackling directly with this. So alkaline, health, raw foods, vegetables, congen water. So when we're born, we are 90% water, the ambiotic sac is alkaline. We're born 90% with alkaline. When we die, we're 50% water and we're acidic. It is what it is. And so what it is, alkaline is health, acid is not. Most of us, if we're not getting those antioxidants, we're on this level. And we need to get on this level, and that's why this, this water will help you neutralize yourself. It's like a baby falls and an elderly person falls. Usually you break your head Exactly, That's, that all has been to do with the antioxidation and acid to alkaline. So, I don't want any of you to take my word for it. I want to show you guys a few things that have come up in the media with doctors and other things. So you don't just take my word for it right up here. Um, so first, we, we've had some exposure in some magazines. Um, these are, we've been in Bizarre Magazine, GQ, and New You. Bizarre Magazine, which was launched in March 2013, said, The water is a hit along, among Hollywood A-listers who attribute their renewed vigor to it. So then we go to GQ Magazine, Giancarlo Giamente, um, who's a chairman, elegant man of the world. Uh, one of the top ten things that he cannot live without is a Kongan water machine. And then one of my favorites, the new you, the way they described it, um, it says here, Kongen SD501 machine, oh, I'm sorry, uh, its bigger fans say that after six weeks of Kongen water, skin glows, nails are longer, uh, teeth appear, appear healthier, hair is lustrous, and lips are hydrated. So these are things the magazine just do. We didn't pay for them, they just went out and researched our company and had people that um, use the water, and that's where all of these came from. So if you don't believe it from these magazines, let's go a little bit further. Um, so here's some top successful celebrities in the world. So we start off, Bill Gates, he owns 16. He puts 16 in his 25 bedroom home so he can have them all over his house because his house is probably miles long going from bedroom to bedroom. Mm -hmm. Then we have Donald Trump. He purchased one for himself and his entire staff. That's pretty crazy. Well, I'm yeah. Able, so yeah, and these guys, yeah, they may have money, but you know they're not going to be investing their money in just any old technology. These guys invest in the top of the line. These guys are the best and have created some of the best companies and best, best business platforms on the planet Earth. And then we have Magic Johnson. Uh, he owns eight of them. So there's a little bit further. If that doesn't, that doesn't do anything for you, let's look at Shan Stratton. He's an international nutritionalist and supplementalist. He does everything for, with the New York Yankees. He has the Miami Heat drinking it, the LA Kings. He's worked individual with Michael Robinson. And if you know who Michael Robinson is, well, even Chuck Liddell, Hulk Hogan, Michael Robinson. I actually don't know who that guy is, but hey, it's still Shane Stratton with some common water. Um, so over there, Michael Robinson, uh, he plays for the Seattle Seahawks. And if you guys know anything about the Seahawks, what just happened to them? I don't have no idea how that happened. <laughs> Shan Stratton was his personal trainer. Michael Robinson has been drinking Kongan water religiously for two years, and so is the team. If that has something to do with it, I don't know. Miami Heat all drinks it. The New York Yankees, I hate them, but they're good, and they drink Kongan <laughs> So, just saying. There may be some sort of correlation. There. So, if those types of things, celebrities, those... Those types of people don't do it for you. Um, I'm the person, I need factual data. I need things that are from a doctor, from a credit source. So this is this says it all. Um, this guy, Dr. Otto Wauber, in 1931, this guy won four Nobel Prizes, if you guys don't know. And if you know anything about a Nobel Prize, it is the most advanced and highest award on planet Earth for human advancement. So for him to win four, this is just focusing on one of them in 1931. He discovered that cancer grows in oxygen-deprived acidic 
uh, parts of your body. And cancer and disease cannot live in an alkaline environment. It's something they won a Nobel Prize for. And that 1931, when I found this out, I'm like, why, why is this not being promoted more? Like 1931, I wasn't, I don't even think my mom was born. You know, my grandma, you know, it's just the fact is, so it's, that blows me away that this has been known for so long and we don't have our doctors. Have, eat an alkaline, before this water, eat an alkaline diet. You need to eat more of this, more of that. You always hear water, but it's not a, it's not that big. It's, you know, we're a pill for every ill type of country. It's just, it is, we have a headache, oh, I have a profile. We have acid reflux, boom, you take something for that. Instead of looking at where the root cause came from, where was that? So uh, I, I listen to this guy, he, I mean, Nobel Prize has got to be doing something. You know, you, when 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 the amount of mucus and plaque, it, it stops all oxygen from supplying the cells in the colon. And that's why we get polyps and things like that. It's almost like it's sprouting plants, you know? But, uh, you know, at least some people are starting to catch on. Yeah. So as you speaking of Hiromi Shinya, who writes multiple books over there, Enzyme Factor, Enzyme Factor II, The Rejuvenation Factor. Um, this guy invented the colonoscopy and the endoscopy, um, so we don't have to be cut open. We can actually do that um, through uh, your gastrointestinal um, parts, and he invented it. Um, if you don't know what a colonoscopy, or if you are too young, it, you know, you'll find out sooner or later that he'll sneak up behind you. <laughs> but this guy has done over 360,000 uh, colonoscopies, right? Is it 360,000 colonoscopies? 370,000. So, I mean, if someone like Dr. Shinya, he states in every one of his books, he will not operate on someone unless they drink only yeah. water. Thank you. That, that says a lot. So let's take a couple, look at a couple photos here. So on the left, you have a 45-year-old female with breast cancer and constant, uh, chronic constipation. Three months of drinking the Congan water. There you have it. We look at another one. 56-year-old male, serious cancer. That is a plaque. You couldn't take that off with anything or scrape it off if you tried. Three months, look at that. So we're calling him water. And this is a guy that's been doing this over th over 360,000 times. So, I mean, that, that again, to me, that speaks a lot of volume. So, I mean, you see all angles, you see magazines, you see doctors, you see multiple actual results. Um, so that, to me, is, you know, that gives a lot of factual information. I could go for days, because when I first started researching, I read about 11 books, um, went through countless hours of uh, science lab testings, it's just absolutely insane. And here, here are some um, of from quotes from some books. So from reverse aging, removing acidic waste is more effective than diet and exercise. Uh, you're not sick, you're thirsty, don't treat thirst with medications. Um, from the pH miracle, without enough water, your body goes acidic and goes into fat storing. And then lastly, alkaline, alkalinize or die. All diseases come from the same root cause, too much acidity. So one of the leading killers of our country right now is cancer. And you know what's ironic with every single cancer patient, and I actually have had cancer too, and you know what's ironic about that? Is every single one is over a city. Over a city. Every single one. One hundred percent of the time, they're over a city. Not one of them has an alkaline environment inside your body. So. He's going forward. So now we're actually going to proceed forward to the actual demo to show you some of these typical waters, drinks, and stuff that we have. All right, does uh, anybody want to come up and read these readings? You want to come up? Come on. So again, if there is a positive reading on here, uh, it is an oxidant. Can you read what number that is? 490. Yep. 490. <laughs> so next, we're going to, to Smart Water. See what we call it after this. 383. There you go. I like to call it dumb water. Perrier. 
Now Gatorade. Who, who drinks Gatorade? Does anyone give it to kids or anything? Yeah. You guys do? I used to drink Gatorade too because we all th thought it was an electrolyte added antioxidation, right? Well, let's see what it is. 4.30. I think that has anything but electrolytes. Yeah. Now we're going to Propel Zero. This was actually another one of my favorites for, for a while. 4.60. Uh, 3.60. Or 3.43. There you go, yeah. So now we have uh, Sprite. Yeah. Three thirty. There you go, and and rising. So that would definitely go four hundred plus. And now for uh, Pedialyte. Two seventy six. And the first thing it says on here, oral electrolyte solution. That's about as false marketing as you can get. This is tap water. Tap water now. Two seven. Okay. So two seventy three roughly. And now for the star of the show, Kongan water. Yeah, it's uh, since it's been in positive, we're gonna take just a second. Drop down below negative. Negative 373. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we Jennifer, even though she is absolutely beautiful, she cannot tell that ORP meter where to go. That is uh, exactly what it is. Uh, so from there, uh, the next test that we're going to do is a pH test. Um, as you can see from the, the colors on here, the pH runs from a 1 to a 14. If you're down here in an orange, then it is acidic. And again, sickness, aging, alkaline, health, raw foods, vegetables, and kongan water. So again, these pH drops are very similar to what your pool man's going to use to test your pH in your pool and hot tub and whatever else. Um, again, as you can see, you look at Aquafina that's looking more on the, the yellow side. Then you have Smart Water, which is, I, I don't even think it's neutral, it's probably right around there. Um, and then you have uh, Perrier looking on the yellow side, maybe around a four. Orange, orange. Sprite, of course, orange. Pedialyte, again, right there at the three or four mark. Tap water. Now, tap water is above neutral, as we can see here, because it is blue. Um, and there is a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one, our municipal water sources, they cannot allow the water to go acidic into our pipes. I mean, you guys can kind of uh, assume why. If our water was acidic, they'd be digging up our pipes from underneath our house in our cities every 30 to 40 years. So under uh, federally regulated, um, they have to put things in to make it alkaline. So they put things such as chlorine and Y and other solutions that are above. And like Y, L-Y-E is about a pH of 13. So if it's down here around the four or five, which it normally would, it is gonna range right in here, kind of right in the middle. And if you see when you strip all of the minerals and the chemicals that are in that, it will go back to an acidic state. And then, of course, you have the, the leader of the show, the Kongan water. So what we're going to show you really quickly is what happens to all of these different beverages once you are drinking Kongan water. If you were drinking these before, this is kind of what will happen inside your body if you're putting Kongan water inside. So what you'll notice is with the Sprite, once she moves here in a second, So as you see here, only two of them actually went over alkaline because all of these right here are so acidic 
that it is not able to go over onto an alkaline side. Now, watch this. This is kind of... Uh, Adding one cap of soda into your body or into your drink, watch what happens. Yes. <laughs> Only one cap. So imagine what you're doing to your alkaline body if you are eating antioxidants. Mm. What it does. Mm. One cap. And these are remind you, these are these are diluted already. science experiment at your house, if you're ever to use soda, Coca-Cola, anything like that, and put pennies inside of it, you'll notice that the next morning, they are shiny. All the oxidation came off it, all the dirt and grime came off it, and then we're going to drink it. And uh, you also know they use Coca-Cola, and they use Coke products to get blood off of highways, as well as getting corrosion off your battery. Um, one soda is equivalent to the same pH acidic level as battery acid. So it's um, very acidic to, to say the least. Don't drink soda at all means necessary. So moving on, we're going to go into the microclustering demonstration. Just a visual of to actually see the microclustering and the absorption that this water actually does. So what Jen is going to do, she's going to add tap water to the first one. As you can see, we can that a little bit, sit there, we'll see how it goes. And now we're going to add Kangen water to the next bag of uh, green tea. Instant green tea. So let's move it again. Let's see. Let's see if uh, how many how many cups we can make with that one. Yep. Pour it again. It looks like the first one's still kind of struggling there. So again, instant green tea. And why don't we move back to tap water, just so you guys don't think it's because of absorption or I'm doing some type of magic trick because I, I'm too clumsy and don't have the organization to be a, a magician. Tap struggles again. And uh, let's move the, this first one. Go ahead. With one bag of tea, one bag green bag, green tea bag, you can make 32 glasses of green tea, which is absolutely phenomenal. Now, this is something that I always thought was pretty cool. Just to show you the real true absorption of this, we're just going to take a little bit of each. As you see there, we're going to add Kangen water to one of them. To a little bit a little squeeze on the bottom of the green tea. And let's just, just to, to enlighten us, let's add tap water to that one. Nine day difference as far as the, the micro cluster. So again, just the reason why the regular tap water is not able to extract what is in the tea bag is because of those large molecules. Um, it doesn't have the ability because it cannot penetrate because it is too large. Um, a really easy way, I guess, to, that was easy, another layman's term is, you know, if you have a chain link fence at a baseball park or where, what have you, if you take a basketball and you throw it as hard as you can at that fence, what, what's going to happen? It's going to bounce off. Now, if you shoot a BB gun through the chain link fence, they're going to go right through it. It's going to penetrate it. And that is very similar um, to what is happening here with the micro cluster. So. so now what we're going to show you is uh, a couple things with 11.5. Vegetables, what do you guys typically do to clean them off? Tap, tap water, right? Like, like all of us. So this is going to be kind of a shocker for you guys because it certainly was for both of us. See what happens, and she's going to add some more. Nope. 
Yeah. Top one. And then we're going to wash the other ones like you normally do at your house. typically put water in oil, what happens there? They don't mix, right? So we have some sesame oil right here. We'll put it in both the glasses. Just a little bit here. And so the first one, we're going to throw some tap water in it. As you see, you see all of the oil flowing to the top, correct? For 11.5 strong alkaline, it has the ability to has the ability to emulsify oil. So let's take a look here. Just adding 11.5 to the sesame. Mm. Yeah. 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 Again, this also goes in for the molecules. It doesn't. It's too big in order to strip or remove oils. So let's take a, a little look here at what has happened um, to our tomatoes. Let's see what comes out of here. taking off all of the oxidation, it's taking off all of the pesticides, herbicides. Now let's check out our tap water here. Yeah. So that's what that is what you're eating. Now produce and vegetables and things of that nature, they put oil-based pesticides and herbicides. If you think about it, if they were to put water-based every single time that they water their plants, it's going to come right off and they got to do it again and over and over. So obviously for more cost-efficient reasons, oil-based pesticides and herbicides, they're going to use that because as you can see, normal water cannot remove it, meaning that those herbicides and pesticides are going to stay on them to remove from animals, insects, those types of things, but it's also going into our body. So uh, we're going to pass these around. We're going to first start. So with this, you know, it's you actually wash all of your fruits and vegetables with it, it's going to have some shock. So try these out, see if you tell, can tell the difference. We are first passing out the Kongan water tomatoes. For the people that have tried it, can you taste the difference? Yeah? Yeah, it makes you kind of think a little bit differently. And I will say that, you know, me and my girlfriend, we do organic vegetables as well. And uh, it's not as much pesticides, but there is still pesticides and herbicides on organic fruits and vegetables as well. Well, 
cool. So focusing on the machine, uh, with the SD501 that is right over here, it is 3980. So what I would recommend, if this has made an impact on your life, I would talk to the person that brought you here today. Uh, we have multiple diff different options for you. If it finance is any worry for you, this company declines no one. So if you really want a machine, we will get you a machine and help you get involved. So before we head out, I do want to talk uh, a little bit about you know the other people that are out there, the information that you are going to find when you actually do some research. And uh, I'm going to bring up Danny Daniels to talk just a little bit about some uh, competitors and things of that nature. Come on up. Uh, thanks. We have, uh, I have a couple knockoff machines in my garage. My daughter is here, she had eczema and she had other problems. And we put one in there after we got the problem taken care of. We put one in her home and all of her problems come back shortly. So they do not work and none of them give out water like we do because they don't get results. But we do have them and, and it says right on the warranty card of all the knockoffs, that I have ever seen. I've got a Valara and then I've got a Life Ionizer. It says right on there that if you pump more than two and a half gallons of water per day, it may void the warranty. Also, it says on there that if you run hard water through it, it may void it. Well, all 50 states has hard water. So they have a way out on all of them. And like I said, you know, if it's got a lifetime warranty, usually that company's not been in business very long. And they will change the name of theirs. We have found a couple of them here lately that have only was, one of them was operating four years, the other was operating two years, and they changed the name of both of them. So they changed the name so that they don't have to take care of that warranty, because they do not. And then they got two filters on theirs instead of one, like ours. And it does not tell you when to change them. And it says to, uh, that it will, uh, uh, oh, it's got organic, it's got, uh, I mean, it's got unorganic minerals in it. And that's how they get their pH. And it doesn't really tell you when it's out, so you don't know if you're getting the right pH all the time. So there's a lot of disadvantages. It does have, I've, I've set mine up, i got it set up to where I could actually demo that one and then the, the SD501 at the same time and show the people the difference and how fast the ORP goes down on, on both of the other machines. And usually all the other machines are made by one company, Encotech, and it's a company out of Korea. And they're an ice maker companies, what they do. They make ice makers. So they got on the bandwagon. And they don't know anything about this. They don't have a they don't have a, a twenty thousand square foot uh, manufacturing facility like we do. You know. And we take care of the warranty here. Ours is bumper to bumper warranty. In fact they'll tell you that they won't pay for it if the lightning hits ours, but they do. So if the lightning ever hits yours, don't throw it away. Because I've got two of them fixed in the last couple of years. So uh, anyhow, that, but there's, there's a lot of difference in the companies and so ours is, uh, I mean one person starts building that, I have been to the factory in Japan, I have seen all that. There's one, there's one person that starts building one machine from start to finish. And we don't outsource anything except hoses and wiring. That's the only thing that we outsource. All the rest of it's manufactured right there. And the, and the plates are double dipped in platinum, double dipped, not just single dip. They're ti heavy titanium plates, double dipped in platinum, and, uh, and, they're, and it's medical grade platinum. So it's not anything that you're not getting, it has to be medical grade, that's how it gets to be a medical grade in Japan. And that's how it all works. But if you have any questions at all, you can get with myself or Ryan or, or Dr. Dave or any of us and we can actually do that. But if you have any questions on, if you decide that you want, and I tell people, just go ahead and get some of the other water and drink some of it and see the difference. You can't, you can't, get, uh, you can't get benefits like you can from ours. Uh, believe me, I have two of the other machines. I tell people, this is my story. If somebody decides that they want to buy a knockoff, I'll say, oh, I have a couple knockoffs. One of them's new in the box. I'll sell them to you. They don't work, but I'll sell them for 200 bucks each. <laughs> I haven't had any takers. <laughs> and so, you know, that's just the way it works, too. And so that works. That's about, that's about all I have as far as the, uh, as the machines. Here you go, Ryan. Yep. So, 
I just want to say a couple things. You know, as I told you guys that in the beginning when Dave told me about this, I, I went to prove this wrong. So obviously, the one of the first sources that I used was the internet. So I, I will say that when you go search on the internet and you see anything that is anti kongan I just urge you to do your research. Um, what, and one of the things that I constantly found is if they bashed us, they were trying to sell another water machine, or uh, they had zero scientific research and always start off, this is ridiculous, it's phony, it's a scam. Um, so all I say is follow the money trip. Um, see if there is really scientific research, uh, because you won't find it. I tried and tried and tried, and I still continue on a daily basis, even though I'm never going to find it. Uh, I know that that is what you have to look for. If you're just going to take somebody that writes a blog um, online, we, there's a lot of people that do it. So just follow the research, follow where it comes from, and if they haven't tried it, they don't have research, or they're selling another ionizer, just make that as a red flag. And remember some of these doctors, like Dr. Shinya, who's performed over 300,000 uh, colonoscopies, over 360,000 now, has a 100% cure rate of cancer. He does. I can't say that, this doesn't say that, but he personally does. He's a doctor and has dealt with over 300,000 patients. As well, this is really cool. Barack Obama's current cardiologist, Gerald Reshnahan, is now recommending Kongi Warner. So our president has even drinking Kongi Warner as well. So just do your research when you're going out there. Get with us for any questions. Um, and then we're, we're really excited to keep going forward. I'm gonna hit on one thing and we're gonna wrap this up. You know, a lot of you know that there is an epidemic with healthcare here in America. Uh, Japan currently sits at number one in the UN, and we currently sit at number 49 for life expectancy in the overall world. Um, that's saying a lot because we also spend the most on healthcare in the entire planet, and we spend more than the next 50 industrial countries on medical care, but we're still dropping. So there is a health epidemic coming up. And it has been going on. This is new. And this is from C the CIA. I got this just the other day. Ranking is of 2012. We are number six biggest fast country in the world. One out of three people is overweight. So it is a problem. It comes from our diet. And it also comes from we're not getting the right waters to flush those toxics out, toxins out. Um, so this gives you that opportunity. So this is not new to any of us. We know that this is going on. This is a serious matter. Whether you want to put your blinders up to it or not, I, I can't say it otherwise, but this is something that I'm passionate about and want to help change this country because I do love this country a lot, and I want to see the people and my family and my friends live a long, healthy life. So when we ingest things like sports drinks, sodas, things of that nature, it's putting our body in a state of acidosis where it's very hard to clean out the toxins. And by drinking the Kongan water, as Dr. Dave said, it's going to be putting your body back in a state of homeostasis, which is going to allow the body to fight disease and sickness by itself the way it should. So that's, that's the whole point. So just take a look at this really quickly. If you suffer from any of these, they, it's probably due from over acidity. So some of the beginning symptoms of you know, acidic symptoms Acne, muscular pain, dizziness, low energy, joint pains, allergies, panic attacks, bloating, heartburn, diarrhea, constipation, headaches, rapid heart rate, anxiety. Those are the first beginning stages. Then from there, intermediate symptoms, cold sores, depression, loss of memory, loss of concentration, insomnia. And just for the depression, don't take Zoloft, just drink water. Um, migraine headaches, insomnia, asthma, hives, swelling, viral infections. I mean, we could go on and on. And if you're suffering from any of these psoriasis, those are the intermediate symptoms of uh, acidity. And then for the advanced, you have all forms of cancer, tuberculo tuberculosis, leukemia, lupus, learning disabled, schizophrenia, Crohn's disease, you guys can all read it. And these are actual facts of over acidity in your body of what's happening. So what I want to say to you guys, if you saw something here and you really recognize this technology and what is in front of you, we are trying to spread the movement. We need your help to get to the people because we can't do it by ourselves. And that's the exact reason why we do these types of events. So if you see this as being beneficial, if you understand this technology, we're looking for you. We're, uh, we want you on our team. We want you to help us in this movement of caring and compassion, helping others and sharing information. So if you are at all 
interested in helping us and joining on with this incredible Imagine team, uh, please stay after. We do have some food for you upstairs, um, so go enjoy some sandwiches. Please come up to us with any questions, and then we're going to come back in about 45 minutes to an hour to a brief overview of anyone that wants to get involved. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you again for coming out to our first event, and we cannot wait to see what is about to happen in Raleigh. Yeah.